Hi, in today's session, we're going to look at how do we identify our SAC tenant is on Neo or Cloud Foundry environment. SAP Neo environment was initially introduced by SAP and later um, Cloud Foundry and other environments got introduced as part of multi-cloud environments policy. And SAP Neo uh, was deprecated and eventually you're going to migrate from SAP Neo to Cloud Foundry or any other environments, depending on the service your availability. In addition to identifying the environments, we also understand how do we can find the region and data center for these Cloud Foundry services. In this particular example, for my SAC tenant. Let's start with the first part, that is identifying my Cloud uh, SAC tenant is on Neo or Cloud Foundry. It's very simple. If your tenant shows two numbers, two digit numbers, that is Cloud Foundry. And if your tenant having your region plus just one digit number, it is considered to be as Neo uh, tenant. So in this particular trial instance, you can see uh, US 10, which is uh, US East. Um, it is from Cloud Foundry environment. If it is Neo, probably you would have seen something like US1 or EU1 or uh, two, something like that. So it's it's two digits is Cloud Foundry and just one digit is your Neo. Going to the next part of identifying the region and the data center location of these Cloud Foundry tenants. I'm going to navigate to the SAP help page. There you can find the regions and AP. I'm going to uh, paste this URL in the description of this session so that you can navigate and, uh, and check this. Basically, here you have all the environments of Cloud, Cloud Foundry and also other uh, ABAP and etc. In this particular uh, uh, example, we are focusing on Cloud Foundry environment. So I'm going to find my serve, uh, the region here. So if I wanted in my trial instance, I see US 10. So I'm going to find what is US 10 here from the from this. I'm going to just say US 10. You can see that US 10 is uh, the infrastructure provider is AWS or Amazon, and it is US East, which is uh, Virginia North. So this is how I can uh, understand what uh, region the my tenant belongs to, and also the data center location as well. Also here you can see the, the public IPs that are to be whitelisted if you're sitting in the sitting behind the firewall. For example, if your SAC or any other services connected to the, the on-premise systems, which is sitting behind the firewall, you may have to whitelist these uh, uh, public uh, IPs in order to uh, uh, prepare the rules for the networking. That's not something uh, related to this topic of this session, uh, but I uh, just wanted to see, show you where you can find the region information here. Uh, sometimes you may see a region and productive clients most, many, many times you see a different region like US 20. So you can see that US 20 is not AWS, it's uh, Microsoft Azure, US West, which is Microsoft Azure's US West is uh, near Seattle ton state in Washington state. So that's the the way you can identify any Cloud Foundry services or the tenants um, on Cloud Foundry environment by re uh, reaching out to this or navigating to this particular uh, help page. You can also see the Neo uh, service availability here in the same uh, uh, URL help link. You can see you can also find these uh, the numbers. Uh, you can see just one digit after the region uh, name C A B R and U S uh, and etc. So you can clearly identify uh, the difference between Neo tenant and Cloud Foundry tenant from, by looking at this uh, this um, host URLs as well. That's all about um, today's short session. Uh, we're going to talk about it a different topic in the next sessions. Thank you for listening. Take care, bye for now.